welcome to day one of Vlogmas everybody. So my name's Ellie and I normally do the Craft House Magic podcast or sometimes some tutorials as well but this month because it's December I'm joining in with Vlogmas where I'm uploading a video every day during the advent period and I'm going to do Christmas day as well and I'm just going to be sharing all the crafty things that I've been up to rather than taking you down Tesco with me. <laughs> Um, but uh, just the little snippets of my life that I think you might find interesting. Well, at least I hope so anyway. So I'm going to have some regular sections. I'll be opening some yarn advent calendars and some chocolate advent calendars. Adam's got his Lego advent to open as well. And I'll have some regular sections every day where I'll show you what socks I'm wearing because I'm going to be wearing all hand knit socks and also my handmade garments as well. So today I'm wearing a Frankie t-shirt and this is a pattern by Tilly and the Buttons. I did modify the neckline in that I used the Agnes neckline instead of the Frankie t-shirt neckline because I like a slightly lower neckline for it and the fabric is from Minerva Crafts and it's an art gallery fabrics and I just love this print. I have a couple of versions of this in two different colours because they do a green colourway as well. I will leave a link to the pattern and the fabric in the description bar down below. So these are today's socks. They are a pattern by Lou Lee and they're called Socks with Ventilation. And they're actually knitted with a lovely sock yarn that I picked up from the US. It's a commercial sock yarn and it's called Premier Yarn Serenity, I think. I will leave a link to the pattern and the yarn in the description bar down below. So this is the first advent calendar I've got to open. It's a yarn advent calendar from Hayley from Ducky Darlings. And the theme is pantomime season. Isn't that lovely? So let's open day number one. I see that the first one is here and it's got one stamped in the corner and a little duck for Ducky Darlings. Oh, that is pretty. Reminds me of sort of an icy snow day. Let's see what it's called. I'll have a look on my list. Oh, it's called Ugly Sisters. Isn't that pretty? So me and my friend Jean do an advent swap every year and here is the advent that she's prepared for me and they're in really cute little hessian bags and isn't that little penguin cute and the little label number one going that way. Let's see what today's colourway is. Oh wow isn't that beautiful green. I haven't yet decided what I'm going to be making with my advent yet, but hopefully a little bit later I can chat with you about all the different patterns that I've been thinking of using. So, you can see that this is in fact an uh, advent calendar that I dyed myself. <laughs> when I was dyeing up the colours, and it's a gradient this time because it came with a wrap pattern, but you don't have to knit the same pattern. You can use them for whatever you like. But I decided to do a gradient of colors and I loved the gradient so much, I actually decided to keep one for myself. So I gave the choice of doing 10 gram or 20 gram minis and you could have Marina or a Stellina base for the yarn. And I've just picked the 20 gram Stellina base to keep for myself because for Christmas, I love a bit of sparkle. So the theme for this year was mistletoe kisses and I painted this mistletoe as the sort of theme picture. And then everybody would have got a pattern via email for the Mistletoe Kisses Advent Wrap, which is called Cupid's Arrow Advent Wrap for this year. I don't know whether I'm gonna knit it again because I already have three of them, so we'll see. And I'm thinking that actually, maybe I could turn that pattern into a blanket pattern as well. So anyway, stop waffling, Ellie. This is day number one for the advent. So here we go. And that is a sort of very pale corally peach with some black speckles. And for the little gift for today, there's a little mistletoe progress keeper, which I've handmade. So not all the days have little gifts in, but there are a few. And I thought day one is perfect to have a progress keeper because you can use it for whatever project you're gonna be knitting. So there we go, that's my yarns. I, I feel very greedy having three advent calendars. So this year I've got a candle advent calendar from Airwick. I actually bought this last year in the sale but I thought that, that would be good for burning the little candles on for Vlogmas. They're not quite as exciting as the advent candle I had last year but I couldn't seem to find one that I really liked so 
hence the little tea lights this year. So day one, I'm not quite sure what the scent of this is. You can't really tell by the look of it because it's just white. It says that there's three different smells in here and it's winter berries, mulled wine, and winter wonderland. I'm thinking that's winter wonderland because it doesn't smell like berries and doesn't smell like mulled wine. So we shall see when we light it later on when it's dark. Anyway, I better get on. First of all, I'm gonna do some bag baking and then I'll move on to, to dyeing because I'm waiting for the garage to heat up because that's where I do all my dyeing. I've popped the oil-filled radiator in there, all nice and cozy for me so that it isn't quite as cold. Making our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you these are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories Oh oh La da 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 oh 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 La da 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 oh 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 La da 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 Making our Christmas memories I've been wrapping presents for you so I've just finished a medium drawstring version of my spring sheet bag and I thought I would show you what I do for the corners that I cut off from these boxed bottoms to make them into lavender pouches. So when you make a bag like that you end up with four little squares from the bottom of the outside fabric. What I do is I use a pinking rotary cutter. Um, you can get pink in shears as well, but I just find the rotary cutter easier to use. I pink round the edges of the little squares and then put the, the wrong sides together ready to make the little pouches. And what I'm just going to do is just simply stitch right round the edge of three sides, quarter of an inch from the very edge of the fabric, and then I'm going to pop some lavender in there and stitch the other edge up so that the lavender doesn't come out. I'll take you over to the machine. So I've got my little squares ready. I'm just gonna make sure that they're still lined up around the edge and that the two pieces of fabric are together. Then I'm gonna just stitch three sides a quarter of an inch from the edge of the fabric. Just gonna trim the threads. So it's a bit difficult to see, but I have stitched around three edges of the this one. The spoon. This is a tablespoon measure actually into this one and then I'm going to be carefully pushing the lavender to the bottom of the pouch so that you've got plenty of room for your machine foot to run along. Pop it underneath the machine. You've just got to be careful not to put too much in otherwise you won't be able to stitch it closed and then just stitch the edge closed. Just trim the threads off and there you go, a little lavender pouch to go with the bag. So you can find the pattern for my project bags on my website and I'll leave a link in the description down below if you want to know how to make them. But you can easily make little lavender sachets out of any scraps of fabric really, but I think that's a lovely thing to have as part of a gift. There we are, the yarn is all drying on my heated drying rack I got from Lakeland. Um, it's really useful to get stuff dry this time of year. It's that time of year again, Adam. It is. It's the first. It's the first. I've put these chocolates in there, so I hope oh. I've given you your favourites. That, that's my favourite. A Lindor. <laughs> We've changed them up from last year. There though. should be two in there for is you, there? and then I've got another advent calendar to open. Oh, and a Mars. Mars. Is that, some of them have got three in as well, so I don't, 
doing no, the number it. one ass. That's it. So what do you look forward to most about the 1st of December, Adam? I get to open my Lego Harry Potter calendar. Ooh! <laughs> by number one. There's number one. It's, uh, it's Harry. Ooh, yeah. I should time you on your assembly skills. I think so. It's got two faces. What have we got? And there's also a little candle thing he's holding. Oh, he does look well dressed. Lovely. He looks a bit lonely though. Hopefully you'll have a friend tomorrow. It's time for my chocolates. Number one is here, we've got a tree. I've got several in here. Oh, there's only two, I'm a bit disappointed. And you've got, I've got two boring Snickers. Who packed this advent calendar? Not me. <laughs> it was me. I give you all the best chocolates first. Mind you, I don't mind Snickers. I'm gonna have a nice hot chocolate even though I had one for breakfast. <laughs> picked up some socks to do some sock knitting and I've just started on the heel flap you can just see the slip stitches in a contrast purple and this is I put a spell on you colorway that I cast on about Halloween Just gonna be you and me